a data log. Alright, so you're probably wondering in that video, like, what does he mean by breaking up? And I can hear and feel a lot more than you can in the video, but I found out that you can get this Holly Sniper EFI tuning software for free. You can see that the RPM in second gear is going up pretty even, but what I heard in the video was just a minor, like, breakup. But if you go over here and look at the... Sorry, I'm new to this. Where's the actual air-fuel ratio right here? So, you can actually change this to where it will be a lot narrower window. But, let's see, we want to look at from here to here and you can see that my air fuel ratio right here is about 10.5 to 1 on this number here now that's at 2000 rpm and we're accelerating and we go up to 3000 and it's at 12.7, that's okay, not too far off. And then we keep going, and then we're to, shoot, we're at about 4,500, 4,600 RPM, and we're at only 13.7 to one air-fuel ratio. And if you go over here to our target, it says right here, at this point where it says 13.7 that it was targeting 12.5 and that's what I was feeling and hearing it's probably not going to affect the power too much but that's what it was and you can see that this should be pretty much the same going all the way up the RPMs and it kind of just that's where the engines making the most power I'm sure which is around like 4,500 to like 5,500 area. So that it's probably just needing to figure out how to make up for that. It's so, like self-tuning still in the cold weather. So it should be okay. Okay, so this was the third pull. You can see that getting on it, it went crazy. Um, it ended up going to 20 to 1 air fuel ratio when I was on the gas 50%, and it did it again. Yeah, 18 to 1 at 101% TPS. So I'm not sure if that's like accurate because. Um, as you can see in that pull, it kind of just went to the rev limiter, and I was that was not a good pull, guys. But uh, yeah, it, and then I guess on the second pull, it got a lot better. So you can see the air fuel ratio stays where it needs to be. It was just that in, initial uh, part. And you can see the other years were really good, actually. Um, they got a little lean at that 5,000 RPM area, but it's better than that other one.
you can see the fourth pull here um, only spiked up to 15.9 so it's actually learning and you can see my TPS was at 92% when that happened so last time it was at 18 uh, to 1 air fuel ratio and it actually spiked in a bunch of fuel you can see how much it was flowing there when that happened so um, at that point that's probably just a delay they could just get a little bit better and then you can see that it go it uh, actually dips down too low after that so probably needs to figure that out too and then for some reason it uh, messes up again at 5,000 RPMs so you can see I was in it fully but that might also have been a little bit of rev limiter um, because you can see that it's getting really close there so and I get back in it I let out and get back in it and then you can really see it um, start to do wacky stuff with the air fuel ratio and that's because it was on the limiter and my transmission uh, or me wasn't working at that moment and then you can see the next gear when I tipped into it it was okay and so were the other gears which are the really the heavy load gears anyway so I say it's been doing pretty good and it looks like the fuel shoot Let's see where the fuel hit roughly the maximum. So it looks like under wide open throttle, we reached a maximum at like 6,000 RPMs, roughly like more like 5,700. We reached 233 pounds per hour, which is, if this is accurate, it's around like 400 and 50-ish horsepower, so that's pretty cool.